Today, we're going to breathe new life into this vintage M42 pancake lens. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com. A couple years ago, I picked up this cool little vintage camera. This is a Practiflex FX, uh, and it's an SLR camera, it shoots 35 millimeter film, but what's interesting about it, you look down in here and the light bounces off the mirror and into this viewfinder. So it's a waist level shooter. You actually take pictures by holding it down here and looking down. I would love to shoot 35 millimeter film with this camera, but unfortunately, until I get it fixed, it's pretty much useless. But I do love this little pancake lens on the front, and I wasn't really sure uh, what kind of mount it was on this camera. But when I screwed it off here, come to find out it is an M42 mount. Now this is a vintage mounting system that was made for various cameras back in the day. This is a great little lens. It's an ISCO Gottingen Westar uh, 50 millimeter F 2.8C. And I love how tiny it is. It's like this tiny little pancake lens. So I thought, why not adapt it to a different kind of camera? And luckily here at Photo Deox, we make a whole series of M42 adapters to adapt M42 lenses to various camera mounts. Now I have a Sony uh, E-mount camera. So I grabbed our Photo Deox M42 to E-mount adapter. Now, before we go any farther, I want to explain something. We actually offer multiple versions of this adapter. We offer type one and type two. This is a type one M42 lens. And the way you can tell is as you adjust the aperture, you can actually see it adjusting. So full manual aperture adjustment. Whereas this is a type two M42 lens. This is a Takamar 55 millimeter F1.8. And uh, you'll see here as I adjust the aperture, it does not close, it stays open. And that's because there is a depth of field preview lever back here that you have to push down to close down the aperture. So just to review, type one M42 lenses have a fully manual aperture, whereas type two also have a fully manual aperture, but you need to press down this button to actually uh, control the aperture. Now these worked fine on type two M42 cameras because whenever you uh, push the shutter to take a picture, it would push this lever down to take the shot. But when you're adapting it, uh, you know, there's no electronic communication between a manual lens and a camera. So what do you do? Well, you use our type two M42 adapters. And the difference is with our type two is there's actually this ring here and that ring actually presses down the depth of field preview button continually so you can adjust the aperture manually. So it's really important if you're adapting an M42 lens uh, and you're getting an adapter from Photo Deox, just check if, if it has a depth of field button. If it does, you're going to get a type two adapter. If it doesn't, you can stick with a type one adapter. All right, that was just a little detour, but it is something people ask a lot and I just wanted to kind of explain it. And this is our M42 to Sony E-mount adapter. So this allows you to adapt M42 lenses to a Sony E-mount camera. Take the red dot here and line it up with the white dot on the Sony A7R II. There we go, now we have this beautiful vintage pancake M42 mount lens adapted to this wonderful Sony full frame camera. This is a very low contrast lens. It creates a fairly flat image. And you don't always want that in your photos, but you can always shoot raw and edit it out, you know, add contrast in post. But I do like shooting with a lens like this if I'm going for a retro look. Here are some portraits I shot with this lens and camera, and they really do have kind of an old film look. So using a manual vintage lens like this isn't the end of the world. You can actually get some pretty cool results with it. I also used a Photo Deox Sony E-mount macro extension tube to go between the adapter and the camera to shoot macro photos like this. By adding the extra space between the lens and the camera, I was able to focus the lens much closer than it was designed for. Here's some more photos I captured with this beautiful vintage lens and my Sony full frame camera. Now, if you don't have a Sony E-mount camera, but you want to adapt M42 mount lenses, uh, we may offer an adapter for you. Here's actually a list of all of the adapters we offer to mount M42 lenses on various camera mounts. And the great thing about these lenses is they're fairly cheap. You can get a really high-end M42 lens with a really beautiful look for not a lot of money, especially if you go with some of the Russian lenses that you can get on eBay. Uh, the prices on them aren't very high. Now, you will have to pay a 
pretty decent sum to get them shipped from Russia, but that's just kind of part of the game. And you can still get a beautiful prime manual lens for under $100 to adapt to a mirrorless digital camera. And these are great lenses to have in your camera bag to give you a really unique look. It's kind of a secret weapon of photographers and filmmakers. Okay, that was a quick look at breathing new life into old M42 lenses with our Photo Deox M42 adapters. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in the video today, comment below. I'd love to help you out. Also, click the links in the description below to get your Photo Deox M42 adapter today. And click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com, and thanks for watching.